Visiting Pittsburgh in the near future? The Comfort Inn of Pittsburgh is the place for you. Comfort Inn offers friendly customer service and a cozy, welcoming room. Wake up to a hot, complimentary breakfast every morning, enjoy the indoor pool area year-round, and keep in touch with your friends and family with the high-speed internet. When staying at the Comfort Inn, you can feel at ease knowing your satisfaction is the most important thing. Uh, James, you guys uh, trail most of the first half, I think 15 minutes, you guys have the lead. They end up going on a 9-4 run to close it out. Uh, what was the message there in the locker room to kind of, uh, I guess, turn things around? Uh, stay positive. Connor made some tough shots. He's a, he's a MVP of the conference for a reason. Mm -hmm. Made some tough shots when we were on there. But <coughs> we had some shots that didn't fall and made some layups, but we were confident going in. Then, uh, then there defensively, you guys had a big stop. I think it was uh, three minutes there around the uh, midway point of the second half. You guys kept them off the uh, scoreboard, allowed you guys to get to uh, eight point cushion. Um, just talk about that swing really on that end and then how it translated into points the other way to kind of get you guys that uh, momentum going down the stretch. Well, that was huge because our offense feeds off our defense, getting stops, getting out transition. I, mean, I don't know how many transition points Trey had, but he had a bunch. And uh, really they were looking to go to one and a half guys on offense down there. So DJ, Joe, Trey, they all did a really good job on Connor. And then, uh, you know, that just leads to offensive points for us. How big was it uh, getting that second win here? Today's one on senior day, being able to close out your final homestand with the sweep. Well, that's, that's big. I mean, we need motivation uh, going into the final three games of the season so we can you know, make a run in the NIAA tournament and hopefully make a, the regional tournament. So that was really big for us. Trey, you guys closed out the game with an 11-3 run. Um, you guys really stole that momentum with the defense, and you guys just kept adding, adding, adding. Um, just talk about that, uh, I guess, that momentum you guys feed off of late, knowing you guys uh, smell blood with water there. Um, pretty much just staying poised, um, controlling the game, um, made them take some quick shots, and like like, like you said, um, they went through Connor a lot, so uh, we kind of stopped that and uh, it, it made some offense for us, you know. I think he had 11-3 run on his own, to be honest. Yeah. He, he did, yeah. But <laughs> what? <laughs> so, like, Trey had 11-3 run on his own. Oh, uh, yeah, I might have. <laughs> um, James, you guys got three more games all on the road, finish out the season. Talk about uh, mentality, what you guys are preparing for, knowing that you got to get these wins. Uh, man, just stay co uh, collective defensively. Come in, work hard every single day, get better every day. We still got stuff to fix. So uh, clean up a lot of stuff, go through film, man. Stay healthy. I got a lot of guys made up, stay healthy. And then, uh, try to make another run at the end of the year, man. Uh, and all three of you can speak on this separately. Uh, just talk about what it's like in your uh, final win here at home. Uh, it's special to me, man. They took a chance on me coming out of junior college. I wasn't highly recruited. So uh, this meant the world. And to be honest, I hope this isn't the last one. We're trying to host the first round of the, of the tournament. So we hope it's not the last one here. But uh, if it is, and it's, been a, it's been a pleasure. Um, my pal, exactly like he said, had a lot of family here. So that was that was huge. And it, was, uh, it means a lot, especially to go out on the win and have guys step up and play hard, you know, knowing it's senior night for us. Well, I wasn't already. I wasn't planning on this being the last game. I mean, I was, oh, we're getting a five through eight seed. So, you know, I and I'm not an emotional person or anything. But I mean, it's always good to go out with a win, and hopefully, we'll get another one here uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, Coach, you guys uh, end up, uh, I think, leading 15 minutes of the first half. They end up uh, going on a nine-four run to end it. What was the message to the kids there in the locker room? Generally, you guys are really good finishing out the half. Uh, Things seem seem a little uh, turn on you there in the final forty seconds. Well, and then the the last whatever Connor went on mm -hmm. his run is almost a personal run. It probably went maybe six eight straight. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that that's that was my fault. Uh, you know, we asked Joe to do something that probably shouldn't have asked him to do by guarding somebody like him for with two fouls because he just took away his aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. So that's my fault and uh, not staying on top of that and doing a better job. But. Uh, uh, you know, he, he's such a talented player, Connor is, and uh, he can kind of go on runs like that. But I thought we did a good job of, besides that stretch from the first to the, to the second half, really did a good job of keeping him off the line, uh, making him have to earn shots. Uh, I thought we played through some adversity uh, with some foul trouble and, and some other things. And, uh, just, just a good, consistent effort. And then, 
Yeah, you know, we've had offense win us a lot of games over, yeah. over this season, and, and I, I really believe our defense won us this game tonight. That defense is big, especially in the second half. They got like 30% shooting from the floor. Um, there, uh, I think the big stretch in that game was right around 13 minutes. You guys held them scoreless for three and ended up building that to like a 48-40 lead, mm -hmm. keeping them off for about three minutes of game action. How big was that stretch? Just being able to get you guys that cushion after being there, fighting back and forth all yeah. the way, and then finally getting some breathing. Yeah, I, I thought that was a key because. You know, it, once we got some separation, uh, because it's not that we weren't, I mean, shoot, we shot 50%, yeah. but some of the shots we missed were shots we usually hit, mm -hmm. whether it's a three or it's a, a uh, you know, DJ just, you know, had a frustrating night for him, but yeah. to his credit, he kept attacking and did a good job. But, um, you know, those kind of buckets, I thought we were about a, a, a two, four, six, probably six point run somewhere in there for me to get some separation really doing it. And when we did that, like you said, then we were able to kind of keep that cushion and then at the end, mm -hmm. Trey was Trey. He just kind of took right. over and, and he's, he's he's pretty good when he puts his mind to it at uh, just going and getting buckets and making plays and you're going to have to stop me and, and they, they didn't have an answer for him. Kind of jumping off that, he had uh, 28, I think, tonight. 20 in the second half, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. um, how big was he? I know you kind of mentioned just uh, a little bit more depth. Just down the stretch, uh, really uh, just kind of putting it out of reach for him. I mean, he's very capable of that. Uh, you have to, on the offensive end, you have to kind of let him be trapped. I mean, because he, he, he's such so talented that even though our offense wasn't the best tonight in flow, it was still pretty good. Mm -hmm. But he can make it that much better because he can go get his own. Mm -hmm. And so, um, he, he, he's, he's extremely talented on that. And I thought he was, you know, I actually think the last two games have been pretty good defensively. And in my opinion, if he doesn't get player of the week, you know, then my double, I think there's something wrong because he deserves it. He, he's, he's put together two really good home games. And when he's engaged like that and plays like that, it makes everybody around him better and makes us better as a team. And, uh, I mean, he had, I think, 10 points there down the stretch for you guys. It may go unnoticed, but James had a big stretch there too. Uh, getting that three-point play and then picking up that charge at the other, other end. Talk about his play down the stretch. Uh, you, you know, Javis, you just <laughs> – it's, it's kind of unfair to Javis, but, you know, you, you just expect him to do those things. Mm -hmm. And he's so tough, and he, his physicality and how hard he plays and how he lays it on the line. I mean, he's, he's kind of – he knows this, and, and he, I don't think I need to say it publicly, but he's the heart and soul of our team. And he, how he goes, he kind of gets us going. And you know, when he's engaged and, and laying it out there on the line, I thought his, his demeanor was good tonight. He's a good leader. Uh, just gave us everything we needed. And you know, Joe had a good first half, really good first half. Didn't uh, didn't didn't do much the second half, but the senior stepped in. I didn't know it didn't. And you can look at him and the couple offensive back to back offensive rebounds that he gave us and extra possessions. Uh, the job he did on glass on the defense. Man, I know he had he had had double digit rebounds, didn't he? Yeah, he had ten. Ten rebounds, so you know I thought he did an outstanding job, and he had a tall task in there too. Because those guys are—that's a really good team. I'm just telling you right now, that's a really good team. There's a reason they won six in a row coming in here. Sure. Um, there's a reason they beat us pretty soundly up there, and um, you know, and, and they will be one to contend with in, in March. I guarantee you. You get uh, two wins on this final home stretch. End up uh, three more on the road to finish up the year. Talk about how big it was getting these two wins uh, before you head on that final stretch. Uh, it, looking back, it's big. Uh, you know, uh, you asked me that on Wednesday. What I really didn't care about today is about winning Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then when we took care of that one, I thought our guys jumped right into uh, you know the, the mode they needed to mentally to get ready for the next one. And uh, give Coach Ingram a lot of credit tonight. He he kind of laid out a pretty solid game plan on how to defend these guys. Um, and uh, they, they went out and executed extremely well. I, uh, you know, our guys deserve the credit, but Coach Ingram, I thought he did a good job just getting them in the right mindset uh, to go out and guard a really good team. And uh, to our guys' credit, they went out and did a nice job. And uh, last one for me, let's go ahead and talk about the group of seniors you got this year and uh, kind of what they mean to the team. Well, you know, I don't, I don't like to get too emotional at this time because we still got three games sure. left. So I don't, I don't like to um, sit there, and that's, that's one thing Javis, Javis said. Don't do anything, coach. Don't do anything <laughs> big because this is just, just another home game. You know? right. Maybe our last home game, but that's look, we got three more after this. Mm -hmm. he, he's that kind of thinker. Uh, but uh, I go right down the line. There's, there's I, I write each of my kids a, a long letter at the end of the uh, for senior day and just tell them how much I appreciate. Because each one of these kids made me a better coach. Mm -hmm. They've influenced me. They've made me better. 
Um, hopefully I've had some influence on them. Um, that's time, time will tell, that's, that's up to them. But um, you know, you get into this profession to help kids and what you get in return when you get performances like tonight, it's pretty special. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you get uh, a, a season like last season, they're, all three of those guys are a big part of this. That's pretty special. Um, so what they've given to me uh, as a coach is a lot more than I'm, I'm sure I can ever repay them for or what, what I've given them. So that would that, be the best way to put it, I think. The Holiday Inn Express of Pittsburgh has flexible meeting spaces, complimentary internet access, a free hot breakfast bar in the morning, and an indoor pool that the whole family will enjoy. Come book a room at the newest hotel in Pittsburgh, the Holiday Inn Express.